Oh yeah! <laughs> I feel victorious this time! Woohoo! Welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and it's Tuesday, and that means it is time for another Tuesday toss -up. I don't know what that was, but I was trying to do something cool, and it really wasn't that cool, but that's okay, because, well, this video is gonna be cool. So, thanks for being here, thanks for watching, thanks for, for supporting me as always. Love you guys, appreciate you guys. So, as you know, have two glasses in front of me. Bill poured them, labeled them, picked them out, all that jazz. Now I get to decide which one I like better, and I'm really excited for it because, well, it's always a fun adventure. So, without further ado, here we go. Cheers to you, thank you again, love you guys. Let's do this thing. I got glass number one right here. Right off the bat, it doesn't smell like super aged. It smells sweet. I also get notes of like a light hint of like green apple. A green apple with some brown sugar. Some floral notes in there. Like a Maybe a honeysuckle, maybe a little bit of a honeysuckle, but it also it has like a, a little bit of a richness about it as well. Definitely smells very sweet overall. Maybe like a very faint hint of like ginger. And yeah, I wanna say like cinnamon, but it's not really there. Like I always wanna say it, but yeah. Not really there. It's like just like a little bit of ginger and vanilla. Overall, doesn't smell too bad. It smells pretty good, actually. Now, let's take a swig of it, see what it tastes like. Mmm. Whoa. Definitely really sweet. Definitely got like spearmint right up front. Definitely like rye. Um, cinnamon. I want to. I'm gonna eat my words, aren't I? I automatically like feel like this is a rye. Could be very wrong. But I got like a burst of like spearmint and sweet vanilla bean right up front. Kind of roll through the mid palate into the back, where it's still really sweet, but also has like a hint of spice on the back end. It's not super super high proof. It's, got, it's definitely like under 115. I'm gonna say probably under 110 more than likely. My palate's still kind of waking up a little bit. Overall, I like this one. It's not like super intense on the spearmint. It's still got like a good like balance to it, which is what's really nice. Mm. Yeah. Almost has a little bit of youth in it. Like a little bit of a cereal note. Yeah. Just a little bit of a cereal note, like a Cheerio, but not, overall it's pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> Made it through one sip and I'm already dancing. I'm already dancing. Okay, maybe a couple sips, but who's counting, right? Who's counting? And I already spilled some water on the table. It's okay. Either way, let's move on to glass number two. Whoa. Glass number two actually smells, I like it a little bit better. Honestly, I get that vanilla bean, a little menthol, not like ethanol, menthol like that you would get in like a, I guess a cigarette or gum. It smells like, like a little bit of like a double mint gum, but it also has like a sweet cherry note in there too, but not like syrupy cherry, more like just you know, kind of if you had like a, a maraschino cherry and you're at the bottom of your vanilla Coke and it had been in there for a while and then you just ate it so the flavor's not quite all there. That's what this is on the nose. Yeah. It actually kind of has like a little bit of a cola-esque to it. Like a menthol -y, cola cola-esque vanilla cherry goodness. Yeah, smells good. Smells good overall. Does not burn the nose hairs. That's for sure. That is for sure. Let's give it a swig. It 
it's mellow but it's nice this is super crushable right up front i get that vanilla sweetness a little bit of that cherry flavor from like if a styrofoam cup almost sweet though good little menthol like i said vanilla bean if i didn't say that already um the lightest amount of oak like it's definitely not super super young but it's definitely not aged like this is definitely not over eight years old but it's probably somewhere somewhere between that four and six four and seven year old range it smells pretty good though and it tastes pretty good that's super crushable like i could sip on that Ooh, i really really like the brown sugary no i got on the back end it just sits there has a nice finish just very balanced all the way through nothing that's gonna go wow that was spectacular but nothing that was like man that sucks no it really is just good and balanced good and balanced now i gotta go back and forth i think it does have a little bit more of that experimenting note on the palette than the first one did these definitely taste like rice to me but if i'm wrong like i'm an idiot and you guys can all make fun of me forever but i, I definitely for sure got like like rye, like mint, like pe pepper, not peppermint, spearminty rye, like tea. That's another note I just got out of that. That was like a green tea. That's good. That is good. Now let's go back to glass one. Glass one knows, for me saying that it smells like it was a little younger, now that I go back to the nose, it smells like it has a little bit more oak on it. And a sweeter, like fruity, like a red fruity note. Smells good. Definitely smells good. Mm. Gosh, that's tough. Because this one, okay, so glass one has a little bit more of like a, a spice through the middle of it. That's not super even and balanced like glass number two is. Glass number two is just balanced all the way through. Like you get similar notes from the front to the back of the palette. And normally I would actually go with glass no glass number one, I think. But today, I'm just filling glass number two. It is really crushable. I gotta take one more sip of it, but it's crushable, it's balanced. Like I love the flavors that I'm getting out of it. Mm. Now, whatever I find out that this is, I'm putting that in a hot toddy. 100 percent It's going in a hot toddy. I mean, it's great and neat too, but anyhow, I'm rambling on. So it's time to figure out how bad I sucked at this episode of Tuesday Toss Up. But it doesn't matter because I can suck. I'm just telling you which one I like better and why I liked it better. So today I went with something that actually wasn't quite as spicy mid palette like normally I would. And I'm going with glass number two. So I'm going with glass number two. Now let's figure out what glass number one is. Here we go. It's time for the results. Burr. I like put a lot of water on the table on accident. It's okay. It happens. Okay. So let's see. Glass number one. Sazerac rye. Really? I was right on the rye. <laughs> oh, baby. Let's see what glass number two is. <laughs> Russell's Reserve six year rye. 90 proofer. I told you, super crushable. But I did not pick out the baby Saz. Wow. I'm actually mind blown here, but honestly, I think on a given day, I would pick the Russell's Reserve rye. Anyhow, I don't drink a lot of that one, so that one did throw me off, but I was definitely getting those rye, rye vibes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel victorious this time. Woohoo! <laughs> okay. Anyhow, well, I'm pretty sure you can all find Russell's Reserve six year rye on your shelf. Saz, baby Saz, isn't always as easy to find. So there you go. I picked the one that wasn't the allocated. Hallelujah. Sometimes I get super excited. Okay, anyhow, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, tell me, do you have a favorite out of those two? Which one do you prefer? I wanna know, tell me what your favorite like low proof rye is. I'm curious. As always, you guys are the best. I love you, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching The Average Drinker. I'm Dara and I'll be back with so much more. See you next time.